it would be a very different movie today, but uh, I'm sure. glad that it's, uh, it still works for you, and that's great. Do you think it doesn't work for, for some people, or do you think for, for reason it doesn't work? Well, for instance, I was in Nigeria for this show, and there is a rampant uh, rape culture there. Mm. Um, rape is uh, tolerated, it's, it's discussed uh, uh, openly, and, and uh, used as comedy fodder, really, there. And we have a number of rape jokes in Borat. Of course, the point of them is very different, but nowadays it might be hard to even try to find a point of view on that subject for guys to make fun of. So that's something you might be approaching very, I'm not saying you couldn't deal with the same controversial subjects or new controversial subjects, but you always have to find an angle that sort of works that makes it palatable. And oftentimes, uh, do you think that oftentimes comedy is an expression of the time that you're living in and that sometimes it doesn't stand the test of time because the angle that you've found for the joke or what you're talking about is solely sort of an expression of that moment? That is always a danger with comedy. Comedy does often have a temporary shelf life. That's very, very true. Look at what's going on in the country right now. This is a very good example of that, actually. The country itself is so fragmented. There's so many different factions, and comedy reflects that. There's there's a lot of different voices in comedy that are in direct contrast to other voices. There are people that love Louis C.K. still, but there are people that loathe him. There are people that think Hannah Gatsby's funny and people who don't. So all those dif different disparate groups exist like they do in the society. And what you hope for is at some point down the line, it'll be like a dialectic and there'll be a synthesis of all those voices and it'll create a new American comic voice of some kind.